things seem a little different, huh? Well, today we're going to do my left eye today. Before we start anything with our eyeballs, prime as usual, all that shenanigans. Um, I just said shenanigans. Who am I? So this is an optional step. I'm going to do this off camera, but um, after you prime, um, tape, because we're going to be getting a little messy today. Um, and then I'm also going to put a eyeshadow, the shade of my skin, all over my lid, and then I'm going to define my crease. But that is totally optional. It's up to you. Um, it only takes a few minutes anyways. All right, and after we kind of do uh, stuff to your lid or whenever, whatever you want to do, we're going to go in with a black hole. I am using a MAC Feline, and we're just going to basically put it on our lash line, kind of like a winged liner. So don't worry about kind of winging it out, out too much or up too much, because we'll take care of that in the next step. Just make sure they at least get cool and every little bit and cranny, because we need a little bit kind of everywhere to do what we need to do. And kind of once you have the coal everywhere you want, we're going to go in with a smudger brush like this. I'm um, going to make my eyes hot a little bit. It's up to you. I'm going to start smudging my eyeliner out. We're doing a smoky wing today. So I want to make sure this is nice and smoked out. All right. And once we kind of have it nice and smoked out like that, you know, that's just a starting point. No big deal if it doesn't look perfect because we're going to go over it. I'm going to take a pencil brush like this with black eyeshadow and start covering the black coal we have in it, kind of setting it, and also smoke it out the tiniest bit more outside of the edges that we have created here. So we kind of have it blended out here. I'm going to do this because I'm really, really picky with my blending. This is optional, it's up to you. Um, I'm going to go in with an even bigger pencil brush with kind of a light gray eyeshadow. This will help uh, diffuse the edges we have on our liner. So basically we're just smoking up just a tad bit more, just making it look extra sultry. So the next step after you're completely satisfactory with what we have here, it's time to take off the tape. And guess what? I'm going to do it on camera because it's kind of like taking the plastic off of electronics. It's so satisfying. Ouch. Ouch. Ooh, that's really nice. Uh, if you didn't get the nice, clean, crisp line that you wanted, I, I would recommend doing this uh, before foundation. And just kind of cleaning up with like a uh, micellar water or makeup remover or whatever you want. So the next step is going to be the underwing here. I'm going to kind of outline it first with a uh, coal liner. So I'm going to go in with a teal coal liner because I'm going to be using a teal color. Um, if you want it to be a blue color or a different color, that's up to you. You know, you're the one doing your eyeball. Not me. I can't do it. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to have to look into the mirror while doing this. You kind of want it to go down like this. You don't want it to go too low. I'm pretty comfortable with that. If you want it to more look more fish like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go down lower. Shenanigans aside, and then after that, we're basically going to kind of create a wing on the lower lash line. So basically, kind of what we did on top, we're going to do down below. So after you kind of get the rough shape of it like that, just blend it out with a synthetic brush because synthetic brushes are usually a lot better at blending out something like this. Also make sure not to blend it down too low in this general area. Okay, I'm also gonna kind of do this as well because I'm kind of feeling it right now. And it looks kind of incomplete without this 
in the waterline. And next, I'm gonna kinda go in with a brush like this with a teal color, the same, almost an identical color to our liner, and just set our liner with that. I'm going to go in with a pencil brush with a lighter teal color, and I'm just going to blend out these edges here. This is a totally optional step. I Like I said to you, I am a very picky blender. Um, basically, whenever you do makeup and you take photos of it, you can see every single little mistake you can make. Okay. All right, so we're going to go in with a brush like this in a teal glitter color. So we're ready. Time for the glitter. We're going to put it on the lower lash line in the first half. You don't need to put it in the second half. It'll just kind of not look as good or as pretty. I'm going to go in with the same brush in a uh, black glitter. So this glitter won't do much um it kind of sucks i'm sorry i know why is this stuff necessary um it adds a really little it adds like a really fine amount of like teeny little sparkles you i don't know if you can see on camera but it adds like a little bit teeny little sparkles it also gives us a little bit extra definition um, and we'll put it in that outside wing there, just like a little bit, not too much. We're going to go in with a translucent kind of rainbow glitter. This is Eye Candy Cosmetics Marshmallow. We are going to go over that black glitter, and we're going to be extra careful. We're going to be extra careful not to put too much in one spot. I'm going to do this off camera because this is like, this is like impossible right now. You'll see the final result in a second. There's the confetti glitter all applied to the lash line. It looks really cool. I really like this look whenever I did it. I, I was in love with it. And I'm really glad that my you guys liked it too. So we're pretty much done with application at this point. You can clean up the look and put mascara and lashes on. Okay, I'll be back. I'll be back. I promise. I just want to come in here and show you what it looks like. This is the look without false lashes. And this is the final look with false lashes, forgive me. The glue is still kind of wet, so, but here's the look with false lashes. So this is kind of how the look looks like full face. It's definitely very dramatic, forgive me if I'm like covering my right eye. I did another look on this eye. This is kind of how it looks full faced, pretty dramatic. It looks really good photographed because of the glitter. Um, it looks pretty dramatic for every life, but hey, whatever, it's cool, it's what ifs. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Glitter is makeup herpes.